Today we're going to talk about the 8000 series DSF dual split flange swivel from OPW Engineered Systems. With our conventional 3000 swivel to remove the seals, you have to remove all ball bearings. With the DSF, you have access to the seals by simply removing your sealing flange bolts with the sealing cap and you have access to your seals. So maintenance is much easier than a conventional swivel. You'll also note on the body of the swivel, you have a single flange on the top and double flanges on the bottom. The single flange is the pressure side, and that contains your main product seals. The double flanges on the bottom, it's just environmental seals. Tools you need, a socket wrench, a seal replacement kit. To begin maintenance, you loosen the bolts of the sealing cap, and that's going to allow you to remove the sealing flange and give you access to your main seals. With the sealing flange off, you now have access to your main backup and environmental seals. So remove those seals, remove the entire seal pack, which consists of your stainless steel smoothbore ring, your main product seal, a Teflon spacer, and your backup seal. You also remove your environmental seal, and you'll want to make sure that the sealing areas are all clean. Some rubbing alcohol can be used to, to make sure everything is cleaned up. Your seal kit's going to contain your smoothbore ring, your main product seal, Teflon spacer, and your backup seal. Apply some light oil to your new seals, and that'll help them stay in place uh, while you're doing the replacement. And you just press them back in place. You'll have a new Teflon environmental seal. Clean up your sealing flange, and some rubbing alcohol can be used to clean everything up. Replace your sealing flange. Put the sealing flange back on. You can then tighten your bolts back up. And you'll want to use your socket wrench to, to get everything snugged up. And then for the final adjustment, use a torque wrench and you'll torque them down to the specified uh, value, which uh, is in your IOM. The torque setting will, va will vary depending on the size of the swivel. And that's it. Now you'll access your seals on the static side of the swivel, which basically follow the same procedure as you did on the top. Loosen your sealing flange bolts, which will give you access to your static product seal and environmental seal. So you have two seals. Clean everything up, a little bit of light oil, press it back in place. Do the same with your environmental seal. Clean everything up, your sealing flange, and replace your sealing flange and retighten your bolt. You want to tighten everything up with your socket and then do the final adjustment with your torque wrench. And you're all finished.